like I don't have enough phones. I just bought three new phones and I don't have enough. I have to borrow a phone. Mm -hmm. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Howard here from WBIG TV. We're live at the Statler. Hello, everyone. And that's the voice of Ryan. And well, let me kill a cam. I want to give away all the surprises. Here we are. This is great. Waiting to find this live stream. Okay, every week I have new new equipment I'm screwing around with. And uh, okay, I guess this is working even though on my screen I can't see it. It's cool though I could see it over here. So here here we are. This is just like the old days over at uh, the mansion at Lounge Academy. Uh, only we're at uh, the Statler. And we, just like the beginning of our old shows, we've got uh, Ryan Lysars, president of WBIG TV. I'm just trying to confirm that we're really alive. Yeah, that's part of this show. Pe people enjoy this part. Um, I don't see that we're live. Oh, you no, know. Oh, you know what? I probably have to change the uh, privacy on it. That's a little trick this thing does to me. It doesn't give you the. Uh, yeah, you're, you're live, but no one. Yeah, so this week, instead of ending it, I'm just going to go on there and fix, yeah, that's no the problem, all right. Yeah. No comments yet. I, I guess I'm not surprised about that. Do you want to be on the show? <laughs> I had a private. Do you want to sit over here? Here we go. Okay, now see that's why that's why we have these these procedures. Oops, I can't see anything now. Well, here we go. Here we go. And uh, for some reason, for some reason it's frozen on mine. I think it's working though. But I'm going to try to fix that. Bear with us, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching the, how the sausage is made in show business. I see a picture of, of Howard with his mouth that's open. Right. If that's the only thing that goes wrong with tonight's yeah. transmission, we'll be uh, in good shape. Where should I sit? Um, am I supposed to be on this thing? Yeah, we're just starting the, the dialogue portion of the show. You could sit over here next to Ryan. He's the executive. <laughs> no, he looks up I'm, I'm observing. Yeah. I'm How's this, everybody? Would We've got like your to... favorite lounge cadets here uh, with me, starting the show, just just like the old days. Except Mary's eclipsed behind me, so you, you might want to move over, like right next COVID COVID distance to Ryan. Do you want this? Oh, thanks. Oh, this is great. It's working. It even has closed captioning. Okay, we're we're, we're good. So Ryan, how you how you been? Is it's great to kind of we're kind of like feeling our way back into the uh, Lounge Academy live television groove. Yeah, this is the most normal we've had it. Now that there's. Uh, a new mask policy. It, it is. Normal is not something that's usually even in our vocabulary. Although we're for all any sitting reasons. down now. So yes, it's really, it's been, been gradual. Anyway. So this I'm testing the, the audio. Nice, this is a nice phone. It even has audio. I borrowed it, Ryan's. I only have three new smartphones, so I had to borrow one. There we go. Well, Zach's over here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> He's here from corporate. Well, from standards. He looks great. I, yeah. He looked fantastic. Thank you. See it's that? Lounge Academy HR. Yeah, look at that. He looks like, you know, he's from, yeah, corporate. <laughs> I'm going to have to Lounge screw Academy, him over uh, a little bit here. Oh. There we are. So Mary, how are you? 
It's nice to see you once more. It's been over a year since we've seen each other starting a Lounge Academy show like this. That's right. Yeah. All of a sudden, she can't talk. <laughs> Why don't you play? She hasn't stopped You're talking in 20 years. You're the entertainment. Start playing. Well, because there's no audience here. We're here. here. Well, re well, remember how this show works? We no. always start with, like, <laughs> talking about, you know, what's new and... You know, while we're wondering who's going to show up, if anybody's going to show up, and then they oh, lots of people always surprise us. I and, have a hunch. And show up. I have a hunch that Janice Gerber is going to show up. Janice might be here. I, I suspect you might be right. I, I get a psychic feeling that she may be here today. That's interesting you uh, put it that way, because when I walked in today, um... Dan, who's one of, one of the big wigs here at the Statler, uh, mentioned that last night there was a big um, gathering of um, psychics. Oh, last night there was? Right, and they, and they were, they got pounded. They, they had to go get extra chairs because nobody was expecting that many people. Wow. Right? Well, they they're, should. Psych they're psychics. I mean, this is a haunted building. Of course, there's going to be a lot of people coming here to see psychics. You know? Not only that, but they're psychics. They well, should know exactly well, how many people are coming. I knew there were a lot of cars here yesterday because I was going to draw the outside of the oh. Statlers. Well, I know, see, they should be able to. The psychics knew, but they kept telling them at the Statler that it was going to be really big, but nobody believed them. That could be a good explanation, Ryan Lysars, president of WBIG-TV. Now, I'm not seeing a lot of uh, chatting or commenting or likes <laughs> by the home audience. I, and, it, well, it says there's two people viewing, and I, I think I'm like all four of them. <laughs> Maybe they're having a bad night, and they're just waiting for you to cheer them up. Well, we, we hope so. Then, then, then we could really feel fulfilled. Yeah. Everybody get your drinks. And by the way, this uh, we're open to the public here. Um, we can invite like uh, everybody. Yeah, there's two for one drinks until 6 p.m. Two for one drinks until 6 p.m., so ladies and gentlemen. Early. And that's 107 Delaware Avenue, 14202. Just go to Niagara Square, and you, you can't miss it. It's the big thing on the left. Excuse my... She's new for us. Yeah. We know her. The guy's so too. She seems very nice, nice but you should go talk to her. I think maybe I should. <laughs> We've had that problem before. Well, I think they may appreciate being told so that, you know, real customers don't well, yeah, have a disappointment. Yeah, I recommend this one to people all the time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're familiar with this one. You've had it. Yeah. The drama is already starting here for <laughs> as we roll out the 2021 post-COVID season on WBIG TV. Um, I guess we're gonna we might have to make up a little ground with our home audience. You know, they used to they used to just did somebody just appear out there. Uh, there's three now. Oh, with Denmark is weighing in. Speaking of speaking of higher ups in the oh. Statler hierarchy, it, it's Vicky. We were just talking about ghosts in the Statler. Yeah, there were. And now, look who showed up. Yeah, there, there was a, a, a psychic convention last night, Vicki. And when I came in, they told me they didn't have enough seats because they got more people than they, they expected. But wouldn't, you know, so we were like saying, you know, of all places, but a psychic convention did not, you know, know what to expect. For crying out loud, Vicky, would you like to come on the show so we could try out our uh, capabilities that we just added to be able to do that? Would you like me to send you an invite invitation link? Are you decent? Of course she is. She's better than decent. I'll s I'll send her a link. We'll try this out. I'm 
a little clumsy at this, ladies and gentlemen. I'm inviting a guest. Um, oh, wait. This might swing up here. <laughs> Now we have Howard with the classic zoom angle that we've all become accustomed to over the last year. I have been made false. I hope I didn't totally <laughs> screw up the uh, transmission. This is an expression I love. <laughs> Howard, I have been made whole. <laughs> That's our new expression. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got to use that as much as we can. I think that whenever I hear that, well, I always think of it. Well, just just Jesus. jump on. I just want to see if it works. You could be the first one, and, and it would be an honor to have you the one who's taking the test flight. No, just, just come on. You don't even have to say anything. Just press it so we'll see you pop up here, and I'll, I'll hit. I could put you on the screen or not. We'll see if it really works. I'm bringing you into the Statler. How can you resist? How can you resist that? <laughs> so did you send Vicky a link? Yeah, she's, she said, hang on, she's going to do it. I, I sent it on Facebook Messenger. This will be the first person to join us this way, won't it? It is. She's kind of an insider, though, so it really doesn't count, but it's, it'll be, a, I think it's a good ceremonial start. And who more appropriate to join us right here in the stand? Exactly, then it's his best historian. Sandler City, formerly known as the Sandler Hilltop. In fact, some people still call it the Sandler Hilltop. Yeah, but I think at first it was probably Hilltop, wasn't it? Yeah, the Hotel Sandler. Trying to figure out the what they used to call it. I should have named these cameras. Yeah, the Hotel Sandler. Trying to figure out what they used to call it. I should have named these cameras. How's this, ladies and gentlemen? We have a, key, a keyboard cam for you. Nice to see you, Audrey. For those of you new to the lounge world, Audrey is the founding president of the Jackie Jocko Fan Club. She's in the camera. 
camera on shot. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Let's turn on. Uh, Vicky, is your uh, mic on? Talk and see. I'll see if I can hear you. Testing one, two. Testing one, two. I can, I can hear you. It works. Wow. I can hear you through my book through my bone headphones, right into my skull. See that? I think of everything. Oh, those are those kind of headphones. Yeah, so that I'm not sitting here wearing headphones, like I can't, like I'm not in the room. They look very professional on you. You look sort of like Van Miller or something. Wow, thanks. Sports broadcast. I went to elementary school with his daughter, Kathy. He lived in my neighborhood. Ooh, it's Audrey Clark and Michael Powers. Now we're talking Mike Piano. Mike, you want to come on the show? This is so exciting having Vicky all the way from Denmark. She's one of these. <laughs> it's like we've got like. She's a big Stantler fan. Yeah. She's the um, she's the, the great the greatest historian. Oh stop! Please, much pressure. Multiple books. She's never been here. Have you ever been to Buffalo? Not yet. You've been to Buffalo, Vicki? Negative. Wait, look, I'm looking at the wrong thing. If I look at the Facebook, it's on time delay, but on, uh, there's I closed no Facebook. Agency. I want to know more about this brewery. Yeah, what building is this and what brewery? Um, Your um, microphone is kind of like, because you're talking low. <laughs> okay. And, um, <laughs> Can you hear me now? If you, if you adjust your settings, and, oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. Or else turn, or else turn off the echo cancellation, so it's like, um, it's like the control in Zoom. Then you don't have to sweat it. Yeah. Oh. Got you. How's that? It's working so well that I'm hearing your echo. I turn off the echo. I found that, and I turn that off. Should I do something? Yeah, either either turn the echo back on or put headphones on. Okay. Yes, we discovered why they had switch. I'll put headphones. That's better. Vicky's going to get her headphones. I think I'm going to um, send Mike Piatto an invitation to jump on the show. Hang on while I... I should really... I know in Buffalo we've never done all this perfect this it's Dan ladies and gentlemen what a coincidence okay I'm gonna invite Piato I'm gonna make a make a better system for doing this so I don't have to take any transmitting Test, test, test. <laughs> okay. Can you hear me now? Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's good. We're getting this dialed in. Is this better? Test, 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 test. It sounds great. I'm turning the volume. A little bit on my headphone, headphones. I'll give you a little tour, uh, Vicki, of the capabilities we have here at the Statler. Yes. Um, here's another camera. Oh. 
that, that distant one will be fun as, as we fill the tables. I could turn it off for now. That's good. There's no sound. You are muted. I can't hear you. Hello? Hello? Hi, is it Mike? It's Mike, yeah. Hi, Mike. I'm muted, but I, I mean, I'm not muted, but um, Howard muted himself. Uh, yeah, I can't hear him. Can you see me? I can see, yeah, that you're not sharing your video, but I do see, <laughs> I do see yeah. um, Howard is. I see, uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure why. Uh... Let's see here. You have to show your video. Do you know? Um, do you know this uh, app? No, I do not. Okay, so on the bottom of the TV, yes, it, uh, uh -huh. it has mute and the rest, and then video. Right. So you have to click video. There you go. Okay, that's video. That's so video, you, yeah. Yeah, you should be showing your video now. Is there a delay at all? No. No. Hmm. So that's off. And yeah, your that's off. your audio is perfect because I can hear you perfectly. And oh. but but the Howard has muted himself. I can see the microphone is crossed out over on Howard. So he has muted now, himself. How are you connected to Howard? Uh, our relationship? Yeah, you know Howard, so. Let's see here. Back. Oh. We're back. Yeah. <laughs> And hi, and where'd Mike go? 
<laughs> Mike left. Hi. Mike? <laughs> Hello? Mike? So, speaking of proof, we've learned that our dog is afraid of if you have okay. any proof that will be both from anywhere near you, and if you put it near him, he like backs up really fast. Yeah. Money the the it's like a honeymoon. Becky, do we have any audio from me? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Perfect. You can hear me? Okay. Yep. I hear sure you perfectly. Okay. It was gone up till this point, though? Yes. And we have... Can you hear me? Yeah. We had a we had a person I was talking to, and they... Mike, there's Mike. Yeah, Hi, there Mike. We go. Mike back. got the video working. Got the video working, yes. Good. All right. Well, Howard, I'm honored to be on your broadcast. Well, I'm, I'm honored to have this, this wonderful group of people on this, uh, this first episode. <laughs> Thank you for having us. <laughs> showing off this technology. Let's see how many cameras we could get before we get a total degradation. So I know Howard through uh, the Statler. Yeah, you asked earlier. Because um, I'm writing a book about the Statler. And so, yeah, and I just, I don't know, somehow we connected. Yeah. Well, he's a good one for that. Yeah, for sure. So, I've actually never been to Buffalo. Really? No. Well, how did you pick the Statler to write about then? It's because the Statler could be haunted, right? Yeah, that's right. Yes, and so I know a lot of details about the Statler. I'm a nerd, kind of, and I've been researching this for about three years, old newspapers, and so I'm just correlating all of that and putting it into a, a book format. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yes. Yes. So if you know any stories, I'd love to hear them. Okay. I'll, I'll yeah. Think about that. Yeah, thanks. I've been there many times. So. I mean, I'm sure it's a part of your life. I've never been yet. I plan on it, though. I'm in Denmark right now, so. Well, I was in Denmark about 35 years ago. Where are you? Oh, serving in the German army or something? Or... Me? Were you in an army uh, or visiting? No, no. I was, uh, I was working. For, uh, uh, did some business travel in the region. So. Just wait. I think they just want us to wait. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Yeah. She's so sweet. So you're visiting. Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay, Copenhagen or? Yeah, Copenhagen. Yeah. Okay. Nice. I live at the top of Denmark. The top, okay. Yeah, so I'm about five hours from Copenhagen. What's the name of the town? Aldborg. Aldborg. Let's bring on yeah. some more cameras. A-A-L-B-O-R-G. We got, we got, look at this. We've got Denmark, Denmark wow. Seattle, yeah. having a conversation yeah. comfortably. This is amazing. <laughs> this is, this is, this is, 
And we're not I should have dressed up. I feel so underdressed. Why? Well, it's great. I was just dressed. It's twelve. I was having dinner. That's why we. Over here, it's twelve here. So it's it's quite late. People are sleeping. Yeah. Quite often, I would uh, go down to the Statler on a Friday evening and listen to Howard play and visit with friends. Uh, over the pandemic, you know, we, we really haven't done it the last year, but he, he started up again, which is great. So, uh, for sure. So, all, all aboard. Board. All aboard. All aboard. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm from San Francisco. I don't know if you can hear my accent. It's very California. Uh, well, I, I, I couldn't place it, but yeah. So I'm from California, right? And uh, usually people in Denmark don't have such great American accents, right? So, you know, I'm in, I'm in Europe, right? So, yeah, yeah, they don't speak English very well here. No, the language is quite hard to learn, actually. Um, yeah, I don't remember. Everybody spoke English to me when I was there, but that was a business setting. So that was. Yeah. Also in Copenhagen. In Copenhagen, it's more international. Yeah. You know, so. You have, uh, you know, international business, right? People have to speak English there. It's and it's more like mixed, right? And up here, it's more just Danish, Danish people, right? Yeah. So. I just I met a guy online and moved here. So he that's how you got there. That's how I got here. Yeah, 18 years ago, I've been here. So I speak the language and. I had a, I gotten an education and everything. Wow. Yeah. That's At 32, I learned the language. So. That's unusual. That's good for you. It's tough. <laughs> it's easy for kids, but tough for adults. So that's, yes. It's off to you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And what about you, Buffalonian? You're alive, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. I grew up in Rochester, down down the thruway. Um, okay. But uh, I moved here 35 years ago or so, and, and uh, okay. this is where I'm at. That's where you're at. Leave. So, did you grow up in New York? Or? I grew up in Rochester, which is about 75 miles Oh, Rochester. Miles away. Okay, then you moved to Buffalo, or? Yeah. Oh. Um, my wife got a job here, and oh. I moved, and... Oh, okay. I got you. Nice. Lived happily ever after, you know? Yeah. You moved to the big city, Buffalo. Yeah. Very historic. Uh, kind of, yeah. I mean... It's bigger than Rochester. Not, it's not a huge city, but um, I like it here. Yeah. So. It's, it has its good and its bad. Once in a while, get up and see it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It. It's very, very uh, historic. Oh, very much so. Very. And the, I just can't the, get over the history. Oh, the history Cold. is unbelievable. Yeah. Cold in the winter, but the summers are beautiful. Primo. Um, yeah. Today it was, you know, sunny and 85 degrees. I mean, beautiful. Wow. That's amazing, right? And then just a couple of weeks ago, it was snowing, right? Well, that's true, yeah. So, it's not California. No, it's it's not no California. California. <laughs> we just had 60 degrees all year round, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, San Francisco, yeah, that's... It's pretty much like pretty mild. Yeah. yeah. In Denmark, it's just rainy, cold, dark, windy, rainy, cold, windy, dark. No, very, uh, very little sun. It's not amazing. People don't move here for the weather. No, I, I'm sure they don't. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't really remember the weather. Uh, what do I remember? I remember the people were very nice, the people that I had encountered. And, uh, yeah, they're very nice. They're very reserved. Mm -hmm. uh, 
very the infrastructure here is very well you know you don't there's no homeless the streets are clean you know you can go to the doctor if you have a fever right you know we're at home in the states you know we had medicine cabinets for every ailment right yeah. And here you, you, have, you have aspirin. That's it, right? Because you have such access to medical care. So I would say that's a huge plus. Huge, right? You don't lose your job because you get sick. There's insurance, you know. Yeah. Well, that's so. Basic human rights are big here. Education. They're, they're not always so basic here. Yeah. No, it's rough. Yeah, there's good um, and bad, you know, about both parts. Yeah. For sure. Now, I miss uh, California just from the mixture of people, you know? Do you, uh, do you get back there very often? or About every two years. We were there in 19, uh, 16. So every couple of years, we we're able to, we're four people, so it's quite expensive to get to the West Coast. Yeah. You know, and when we go, we usually go for like a month, you know. Right. So it's it's not cheap, right? Because then you're away from your job for a month, right? And you're paying for a vacation on top of that, right? Lodging and food, it's it's quite expensive. So yes. and the plane tickets, it's yeah, of course, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's a lot. So no, I'm not flying back and forth at all. Yeah, if it was New York, I could. It's much cheaper for me to fly to New York. You know, over a weekend, we could easily do that. We just have it. I don't know why. But soon. Well, if you get to New York, you're you're close to Buffalo. It's only another hour flight. Oh, I would only fly to Buffalo. I wouldn't. I don't think I would go to New York. You know, city. I would just, you know, be all of my contacts are in Buffalo. So, yeah. yeah. I don't know if you know the haunted Hinsdale house. Uh, no, I don't. Know. It's a greater western New York. Anyway, so it's a, a famous haunted house. And so I run the tourism there. And we have um, CC cameras that I run. From here, really? I yeah, I came, I invented this way to record people who get tours there. They spend the night, and then I save the recordings and I send them. I sell it back to them basically. Vicky and she's she's the leading authority. That's why I'm connected to that area. She's never been to write books every day. Yeah, so. And, um, Hi everybody. And then, um, this is Mike Diato. And, um, and then this is us here. <laughs> Hi these, studio. These two other windows are. This is this camera, and then the one over there. And I could control all these from right here. And I could turn the rest of them. Who's there? And they with come them. on like just like our own camera. I see a couple and people, and they're they're having comfortable conversations. Oh yes, we are system. very comfortable. It's like it's like Zoom meeting, but it's, it's so built funny. into a different production system. <laughs> He's right? fascinated by the technology. <laughs> yes, he is. That's ours. Uh, yeah. I can't believe it's all working. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, thank you. I'm glad. Yeah. It's kind of a niche now. Oh, it depends. It depends if there's whales. It is great. Now, I, I noticed that the uh, Facebook is uh, yeah. Yeah, so, 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 four weeks. Um, so, yeah, you should have that off because it can create an echo. Yeah, I turned the audio off on that. Yeah, that's smart. Turned into like an TV studio. But I'm I'm kind of curious to see what's being broadcast. Um, I'm sure he switches it. Yeah, it keeps changing. Try to recreate it here. Well, how it controls it. 
That's what this is all about. Yeah. With smartphones. You know? Smart. Yeah. I had to go 5G this week. Yes. 5G service. That's on the 4 So this is so far away. You're right. It's hard to get a good signal in here. Too. It's a new high speed. Um, it's through T Mobile, but it's all they can all operate. It's the new high speed broad, broadband. Yeah. So, um, because for uploading, uh, and we're, this is real demanding for uploading all these sources. They they're actually care. going to each other, too. It's a very efficient. They don't want to know. Yeah, it's very resource intensive. All right. So, and actually, you're bringing this we used to get a pretty good audience, you know, but still, you know, pre COVID. Well, I've got to run. I've got, uh, I've got somewhere I have to go to. Yeah, uh, somewhere this to go. Yeah. This was it's great meeting you. Yeah, I'm surprised we haven't met before because I'm usually in the uh, audience. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm often in the audience, but it's my first appearance. I didn't, yeah, I you know. <laughs> awesome. No, uh, well, have a good evening then. Yeah. With my stylist. Oh, look at this. Now, now you're in the mainstream. No, it's here. a Samsung stylist. It looks like it, though, doesn't it? And I know all about Boeing Ellie Pencils. Howard, are you commenting on my microphone? It's very professional. Are you a musician? Howard, I gotta run. Yeah. Okay. Well, he oh, wonders hi. where I left. Just tell him I had to go. I will. Okay. Nice to meet Bye. you. Nice meeting you. Bye. Bye. Howard, Mike left because he had somewhere to go. Mike left because he had somewhere to go. Your mic is very low, very, very low. Oh, Mike had somewhere to go. I can't really hear you. Okay, now I can hear you. So Mike left because he had somewhere he had to go, he said. Well, Mike had somewhere to go. Yeah. So now it's hard for me to hear you. I don't know why. It was clear before, but now it's hard. I'm hearing some like uh, echoey things out there. Oh, we'll get this all dialed in as we go. Is that better? 
Is this good? Oh, wait, wait, I found an open mic over here. I think I might have found a problem, Vicky, in Denmark. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it sounds better, doesn't it, Vicky? It sounds very good, yeah. I'll say goodnight now then. I need a lot. Stellar's historian. Yeah. Bye. Okay, we, there we go. There she goes. That was exciting.
skies above can't be stormy since that moment of bliss oh that thrilling kiss
everybody wants to be your long lost friend. I set it straight without any doubt. Nobody knows you.
beautiful song. Great old Gershwin song.
Oh, we all please stare away to the stars. It would be heaven. Climbing to
You're a When you're with touch I will and so it's not. I'm 
Thank you. 